Hello, what's up YouTube? Brony Sweet and a tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you how you can easily convert your logos into PNG. Mm -hmm. So like a PNG I mean like a logo that has a transparent background so that you can easily play place it on different areas or maybe your photos or maybe a given website and you don't want the background to show so this is a tutorial for you guys and if at all you haven't liked this video don't forget to, to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if at all you haven't subscribed this channel so right now this is a jpeg file of my logo so i just want to convert it into a png and before doing anything just come to this layer icon and make sure that your layer has been unlocked so it can simply come and double click on it to unlock it and after unlocking it we want to make a selection around the logo which is as simple as sim coming right to select then you come to the color range option so under color range make sure that you select the shadows so come down here and make sure that you select shadows and now make sure selection is active and for the selection preview i'm just going to look for one that works best for this image and in order to ensure that everything has been selected in the image I'm just going to be using a white a white selection or you can go in for black because if at all you want to see everything that has been selected but black doesn't work best for us in this case I'm just going to come and I use you can even use a quick mask which is this and you can come and play around with the fuzziness to make sure that you have a better selection for your logo so for this case like I said I'm going to be using a white mat and this is okay so you can play around with the fuzziness to make sure that the logo has been selected to maximum and every area has been selected so make sure that invert option is not checked and come and simply hit ok and when you hit ok you can see that it has selected everything in our logo and even the, the text has been selected so we are going to come to add the adjustments and come and create a solid color adjustment layer and for this case we're just going to make sure that we click and choose a black color so just come and choose a black color and hit ok so after doing that we're just going to come and select the layer that we unlocked previously or our background layer and simply drag and delete it so after deleting it you're going to notice that the logo has been really nicely cut out and the next thing is going to be saving the image so that it can be like in png format and in order to do that you're just going to come to file then you're going to come to save as so when you come to save as you're going to save of course on computer and for this case we're just going to come and you can rename this maybe to logo tutorial i think this is better and location i just want to save it of course i prefer to save things on my desktop i know i may be a little bit messed up so come to the format and choose a png so just come right here and choose png and just come and hit save and you're going to get this format of course i prefer a large size and just come and hit ok and my png has been saved so just want to see if at all the png is transparent so we just kind of want to test if this is really effective and i forgot to tell you you can as well work with this technique when it comes to signatures and make sure that when you're working with the signature always make sure that the paper is very very clean and is free of any wrinkles or folds and i would prefer that you use a black pen and if i told you you are not using a black pen you can as well come and use any kind of color that you need but always make sure to convert that into black and white or you can just drag it into photoshop and come to the adjustments and simply desaturate or remove colors from that and it's going to change it into black and white so like i said we just want to test out our logo and see if at all it is transparent or it is in png format 
just don't come and look for any random image so i just want to drag and drop my logo onto this image to see if at all it has been able to be or look transparent I'm just going to come to my finder and look for my logo remember what we named it we named it a uh, logo logo tutorial so i'm just going to look for my logo and uh logo tutorial let me just come and find it it's like i'm failing to find things right here okay i'm just going to look for logo tutorial and here it is and it is a png and simply drag and drop it into photoshop and you can see that the logo is transparent and doesn't have this annoying background and in order to resize your logo after placing it onto your image just come and simply hold down the alternate key on the keyboard or alt on the keyboard and simply drag the edges and it is going to move it without distorting the original shape of the logo and you can just click on it and move it to a different area and simply place it there for purposes of being or copywriting your work and simply hit enter after you have been able to apply it so if at all we zoom in this area hold down the space bar and click you can see that our logo is really transparent and doesn't have any background or edges onto it so basically this is how you can easily turn your logo into a png and if at all you love this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have found this tutorial really helpful ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating